Rondo again with the tip, keeps it alive. And out of bounds. Pulled back by Rondo. Rondo to Davis for three. I wanted to hate so bad. Damn. Psh, I'm going to still hate. I don't care. LeBron, y'all got lucky. Y'all, oh, oh, man. So many missed opportunities. Oh, my. I'm under the impression if Dragic was back, they would have lost. They played the first half sorry. LeBron, he didn't have an answer for anybody. He didn't have an answer for himself. He's over here. He's got refs on speed dial. He's sliding in the refs DMs saying, hey, big head, you go give me that foul. No. God, he got so like that multiple three. Nothing that he is not responsible for what they did in the fourth quarter. Other than rebounds, he's not responsible. He bricked. And bricked and bricked over and over again. When the going gets tough, he's not, he's he, like, I'm waiting. Show me, King. Show me. LeBron was getting locked up by Iguodala Group Economics. Iguodala did it before in 2015. He was doing it now. Y'all lucky that like Davis, Davis gets nicks and knacks so many times during a game. Y'all lucky he doesn't get injured because if Davis were to get injured, this series would be over and the Heat would win. If Dragic was, I swear if Dragic was there, it would have made a world of difference because LeBron is like, they go, he go come out angry. He go come out this. He go come out looking like mama, there goes that man. No, looking more like mama, there goes that trash can. I can't. I, it's like the hype surrounding him when he doesn't do enough in the fourth. I know he's the reason that they had gotten there mostly, but if you can't manage to do anything in the fourth, does it really even matter? Davis was having a problem. Like, Adebayo was back. Like, Adebayo making that big a difference. Jimmy Butler should have played better. He should have did more. He should have basically went out like he did last game. If Jimmy Butler would have had like 35 to 40 this night, they would have won. But, mm, man, like that. And then now everybody go congratulate. Oh, LeBron, LeBron uh, skewers the heat. LeBron, he beats the heat single handed. Not really. They was over here relying on Marcus Morris to generate a play and to get points on the board because no one else could. When he got that three point, that three different shots made off of Olenek by creating that ball crowd. I hate it when players do that. They go and create a foul where there is none by basically throwing their whole body into someone. You had to do that in order to get generate something. Davis wasn't doing nothing. LeBron wasn't doing nothing. Then LeBron runs straight into someone like miscommunication. Like what? They wanted to, this was the Lakers game to lose. This was the Lakers game to lose. This was better coaching from Eric Spolster as opposed to Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel, like adjustments weren't really made. It was other than Davis just channeling his should have been defensive player of the year play. Blocking who he's supposed to be blocking since he's the tallest player on the whole court for most of the game anyway. Like, please go up 3-1 and lose this series. That's just what 2020 needs. Please go up 3-1 and lose the next game. I kind of expect them to lose next game. This is the game I expected them to lose anyway because I didn't, hell, did not expect them to win game three. Not with... Um, Jimmy just about there by himself with Tyler Hero. But so they won that one. Oh, it would have been hilarious if you guys would have won this one. Then it would have been a series because when it gets to the pressure cooker gets here, I guarantee you LeBron is not going to show up consistently. The only time he's shown up in this entire playoffs was that last game against the Nuggets, which I mean, good. That was great. I gave him compliments. I applauded him. But 
do could you do it again? Could you, please? Could I see it more? Where's the LeBron that scored 50 on Golden State in 2018? Oh, but he's older. So make your shots. Make open shots. Are you that much older that oh you just hit a certain age range and then oh nothing goes in, everything breaks. No. Put all the pressure on Davis. Davis carried half of these playoffs. I don't care what nobody said. Davis, more often than not, was able to apply. I know LeBron is a facilitator. He's impactful. He does all this. But in terms of scoring and getting them out of situations and generating offense where they need to, Davis has been that guy more so than LeBron. Damn, man. They were close. They were real close. They were. It's probably just because I just like I just want to rant. I want to tear them apart. But a team with Anthony Davis and LeBron should not be having this much trouble with the Heat. It's Anthony Davis and LeBron against Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. Not even top twenty players versus top five to top seven players. I mean, Jimmy Butler maybe top twenty. Maybe I don't know. Ah oh, man, it, it. I mean, good good win for Lakers. Like you, you, the championship intangible show, a playoff experience ended up winning the day more so than the Heat. The Heat just botched too many plays and they just got blocked and they got put behind bars by Davis and all that. Like I don't know, LeBron out there getting mad and everything else over stuff that half of which is his fault. But I swear I'd be seeing him. He's like you, like this talking about I'm like it's your fault you just did it so let's just see what happens in the next game they said they may have a nut what they got an extra day off so late they got two days off or something like that maybe Drogic comes back if he does I kind of expect them to win next guy I, I don't know they that that tr the likelihood of the heat winning next game as opposed, as opposed to the Lakers winning, because Lakers get complacent. That's not championship mentality. You get complacent in the finals? This is the finals. Shouldn't have lost last game. That's inexcusable. Whatever, let me turn this off before I get more dislikes and people say, oh, you're just a LeBron hater. They go be here anyway. They are in the shadows waiting. But whatever. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this. I will see you all on the next one.